All right, everybody, I'm back. Uh, here I am doing a radiator support um, replacement on a 2005 Mazda 3. My son got involved in an accident, so frame, there's no frame damage, similar to my daughter's Corolla accident back in January. You, I have the video posted so you can go to that one I did a radiator support on hers now the difference between these two cars obviously the not just the make but the radiator support for the Mazda 3 is a fiberglass plastic composite so on the left here is the stock or OEM Mazda radiator support and on the right is an eBay radiator support. I paid about, I don't know, I think it was $70 or $80 for it. Um, no, no, no. I think it was $90. Anyway, I'll get you the right price on it. But if you do a side by side comparison, they're pretty identical. I mean, they're identical. I haven't seen anything different in them yet. But I'm going to do a quick review after I do the installation. So there are a lot of videos out there. I'm not going to go through this video. I'm not going to do a whole installation video. But this is the, the, the car right now. I took out the bumper support. Let me see. So right now I have to straighten out a little bit. There was a couple of things that I needed to straighten out. But. Here it is right now. I'll, there are videos out there to show you how to take out the bumper and all that other stuff. I'm not going to go through all that. This is just to show you that I'm doing it. Um, if I find anything interesting, I'll, I'll put it on the video. But if you're considering buying a radiator support that's not factory and you want to go to eBay, well, I'll give you a quick review on that after I do this installation. I may take some pictures and um, post them as I go along so hang tight and I'll be back okay so the aftermarket one is on you'll have to the way I found it easy to do I guess and I can't remember how the other guys did it but you have to take this off the bumper frame or what do you call it support off and then you mount the radiator support to the bumper mount and then you put it together as one unit and you got to make sure that the radiator falls into its position on the bottom so the rubber mounts go into the holes on the bottom of the support so just to you can see on the old one they have to go inside though that hole right there okay so out with the old in with the new so it's on so far so good I'll be back okay so we're back and finished with the car so everything went on radiator support uh, went in no problem I even managed to take the air conditioning sticker off from the old one and put it on the new one um, let me see. So we replaced the hood latch. I got this from eBay. I paid about $21 for it. Uh, the bracket right here that hold that connects the hood latch to the bumper support. I went to the junkyard for that. Um, I, re I bought the grill on eBay, the emblem on eBay. I replaced this headlight. I bought it on eBay for like $50 used, which is in pretty good shape. Couple of little scratches but it's okay I managed to use the original bumper it only has a, a few gashes here uh, right here and right here but there are videos out there that I've seen where people have repaired these and I'm and I am going to attempt it I may post a video when I when I when I do this so be on the lookout for that um, let me see so everything lines up pretty good all the bolts, um, I'm 
satisfied with the eBay, uh, with this eBay um, aftermarket radiator support. It was only seventy-seven dollars. Um, let me see. The only thing I did not like about this support, and and it's important for you guys to know this is, and I'll show you with the old one. Where the bolts go in, the original the original one is has much is much better quality than what you get with the one that comes in from China. Um, so what happened what happened to me on a couple of them was, if I had too much tension on the bolt going in, if there was some issue with it, these tend to spin. And if you get these, if these start to spin, good luck tightening your bolt in there. So. You know, I would recommend that you just, you know, test test fit your bolts first before you start anything. If you find that they're, they're loose or they start to spin, then you can go back in there and try to do something with them to, to reinforce them. Now, I will say this. There's a CAPA rated one for $30, $30 more. No, $40 more. I, recommend, I would probably recommend it because from what I've seen in the pictures, they use the same exact, um, I guess, I don't know what you call these, but they use the same exact ones that the OEM hat, that the OEM support has. So other than that, that's the only problem that I have with, the, with this aftermarket non-CAPA rated support. So everything lined up pretty good. I am very happy with the results. The only thing that I have left, now this is a hood that I purchased at Scrapyard. Closes okay. The only thing that doesn't, it doesn't line up well because the hinges were damaged. So we went out and got different hinges. I haven't had a chance to put them on yet. So I'm going to say that once we put these hinges on, this will line up much better. But for the time being, everything it looks pretty good, pretty decent. So again, I recommend I recommend the eBay radius support. Just make sure you test fit the bolts that go into these um, into the mounts over there, and it should be good. So. Uh, look for me in a later video to see if I if I do this one. I do have a video that's that I'll be posting soon on a 2007 Honda Civic Si a clutch master cylinder replacement. So I'm almost finished with that video. So anyway, thank you for watching. If you have any questions, um, please post, and I'll try my best to answer them. But basically, this was more like a review video and just to show you that it do, it does work. And um, anyway. Thank you very much, and I will also, I'm sorry, <clears throat> post pictures of the vehicle when it was crashed, you know. So, anyway, thank you very much for watching.